What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I wanted to talk about some good old rumor and speculation. Starting off I wanted to talk about was the PlayStation Network really down? A lot of people were tweeting at me and reaching out to me saying that the PlayStation Network was indeed down. Now. The fact of the matter is, it was down for a lot of people. About half of North America was completely wiped from the PlayStation Network. You weren't able to log on for several hours, up to four hours for some players, which caused frustration. Now, we've seen this from time to time, especially with Sony in the beginning of this year. We've seen so many network outages that have not included PlayStation Network uh, maintenance. Now, Casey Neistat even tweeted out a video of frustration. He pretty much covered the anger that the PlayStation owners have. Check it out. Sony, PlayStation, why do you have to suck so bad? All I want to do is waste time and play video games and you won't let me. Now, I just wanted to show you guys that because I thought that was pretty funny. I mean, that's how I feel sometimes. And I'm like, oh, Sony, get your stuff together. But honestly, you know, the other guys, I'm just kidding, Xbox One has network outages too, and I mean, it's it kind of like lines up, but it's frustrating because, you know, you're paying for a service and you expect to be online pretty much all the time. But then, you know, internet services are about the same, so go figure. But anyways, next up, I wanted to talk about E3. E3 is up pretty soon. Sales just came out for E3, and a lot of you guys actually purchased tickets. Now, if you did purchase a ticket and you're going to be attending E3, hit me up on Twitter around the time of E3, and let's see if we can meet up. I would love to actually meet you guys in person, shake your hand, and actually, you know, get to know you guys a little bit more. Maybe we can jump on a game together or something wait one of those super long lines to play an awesome game that nobody else has yet next up i wanted to talk about call of duty now before you get your panties on oh, monkey flop why are you talking about call of duty it's dead it's no more it's no longer finito that's it they actually recently made a statement well actually first they leaked it call of duty cycle is they leak information out to the public and then they officially announce it now, <laughs> they leaked it and they officially announced they're going to have boots on the ground and they're going back to their roots. Now, if that indeed is true, then they might have just saved Call of Duty. But we'll have to wait and see. I know the story's a little bit old, but I wanted to touch on it with you guys and let you guys know about it and want to see what you guys think about it. If they return to their roots, do you think Call of Duty saved? Now, my thinking is, okay, they're going to return to the roots, but... How is that going to be? Or is it going to be like legit boots on the ground? Is there still going to be boost jumping um, with boots on the ground? Is there going to be supply drops with guns you cannot get without actually purchasing supply drops? Because the chances of you getting a gun that, that you really like and you really love are slim. Then, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Boots on the ground is a good idea, but I'd love to see what else they have in store before I get super hyped about Call of Duty because to be honest with you guys, I haven't even prestiged once in Infinite Warfare. I, I think I'm like level 20 or something, you guys can check. Um, but even COD 4, I, I'm just not feeling it. So I'd love to get, hear you guys' thoughts and opinions about it in the comments section below. Next up on the list, I wanted to talk about Sonic coming to the PlayStation 4. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, bro, Sonic, come on, are you serious? Sonic, Sega Genesis days, who's hyped about that? Actually, a lot of people are hyped about Sonic coming to the PlayStation 4. If you are, hit me up in the comment section below. I know this guy is, but anyways, Push Square actually released an article talking about uh, the fact that Sonic is coming in 2017. There's been a lot of rumor and speculation about two games coming this year from Sega coming to the PlayStation 4. So let's go ahead and read it. The good news is that we'll hear more about both games in the next month as Sega will be hosting a Go Fast panel at South by Southwest on March 16th, 2017. What information will actually get from said panel is anyone's guess, but the publisher is at least promising a new reveal of each title so you can probably expect a trailer guys okay, so for our final story i wanted to talk about good old rumor and speculation of the 4.5 
update. A lot of people have been reaching out to me saying, Monkey Flop, when is the 4.5 update going to be released? When is it going to be available to the public? As many of you guys know, it's in closed beta right now, which is pretty awesome. A lot of you guys actually are testing it right now. I'll show some screenshots on the screen. It's pretty cool because you get to change your custom backgrounds. You get, if you have PlayStation Pro, the feature that should have been released on launch uh, where you can enhance the Pro is there now, which is pretty cool in my opinion. A lot of people have been asking me monkey flop when is this going to be released i need it i need custom backgrounds i need the playstation pro enhancement well i'm going to speculate here i'm going to go out on a limb and say that it's going to be released on march 7 2017. now given sony's track record and sony's typical cycle each and every year and with these new betas that they're coming out with with the software updates it usually gets released on or around the date of the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection gets released. So I'm speculating here. So don't get your panties in a wad if the date's wrong, because I said I'm speculating. March 7th, 2017 the day the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection drops. Ladies and gentlemen, that's actually going to do it for me and rumor and speculation. Love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this week's rumor and speculation in the comment section below. Did the PlayStation Network go down for you? What are you guys' thoughts on the PlayStation Network constantly going down? Love to hear that. Also, Sonic 4, the PlayStation 4, what do you guys think about that? Call of Duty, boots on the ground. Love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions about that as well. E3, are you guys going to be attending? Love to hear that as well. If you want to take two seconds out of your day, hit a like. That really helps me out. Well, it doesn't really help me out, but I love to hear, um, at least see some interaction and see that you guys are digging my content. That helps me out because I know you guys are rating me and uh, ra ratings for me are important even though YouTube's like, we don't care about likes. <laughs> but anyways, I also wanted to talk about uh, live streaming. Now, you guys have seen me live streaming a lot lately. YouTube actually put out this new functionality where you can live stream directly from your phone, which is awesome and I've been having a lot of fun with that. Um, I am going to be doing a lot more live streaming, but periodically, so don't worry. I'm gonna keep the PlayStation news flowing for you guys. This is not gonna turn into a live stream channel or anything like that. I'm actually scheduling to live stream every Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I wanna have a, at least a regular schedule upload of uh, live streaming so that way you guys can interact with me a lot more and you guys can actually know what time so you can try to plan ahead and join the live stream. The live stream is going to happen for about an hour, hour and a half depending whether or not I'm actually playing over here on my PS4 computer or live streaming directly from my phone. Um, that will be to be announced but as well as that I'm going to be live streaming every once in a while when I go to special events or when I go out on a special occasion or a special outing, I love to share um, some of those memories with you guys. So uh, be on the lookout for that. I'm actually going to SmackDown tomorrow, which is awesome. I'm going to fight against Dean Ambrose, bro. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, but I'm actually going to SmackDown, which is actually pretty fan freaking tastic. I've never gone to a WWE event or any main stage thing like that before. I've always gone to like the, the background back ground wrestling you know like underground wrestling those type of things i've never actually been to an official one so i'm really excited about that um i'm gonna be live streaming from the floor so be on the lookout for that i'm not sure what time i'm actually gonna live stream because it's gonna be before the event you guys know how wwe is uh, but i'll be live streaming before the event just so you know we we can chat and you guys can kind of see hopefully we get some superstars on the stream uh but be on the lookout for that if you would Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the live streams. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions. Um, that's it for me and rumor and speculation. Remember to hit a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.
leak information out to the public. And I'll see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.